Ladies and gentlemen, this is Ray Little. How's everybody going out there tonight? We are in Topeka, Kansas, and boy, oh boy, do we got a heck of a show tonight. My goodness, we got titles on the line. We've got all kinds of people showing up. It's going to be a slobber knocker. Oh, come on, people in the back. You think we're not in Kansas City. We're in Topeka, Kansas. My goodness, they can't get anything right. All right, ladies and gentlemen, first of all, we got Max Cruiser coming out the ring to address the fans here at home and in Topeka, Kansas. Max Cruiser. Boy, we have got all kinds of stuff going on tonight. We have got titles on the line. We have got certain matters being addressed we have got drama we have got everything you could possibly want tonight and this th this show is going to be a two-parter it's just too much to fit into one segment here let's get down to the ring and find out what max cruiser has to say There he is, ladies and gentlemen, Max Cruiser. SWW fans, universal fans of pro wrestling, wow, do we've got a show for you tonight. Man, I'm excited. I'm excited to bring you the best wrestling in the world. And I'd like to address a few things. First of all, if you watched MSW last night, you would have seen something very interesting. You would have seen Samoa Joe walking out to that ring, and he would have said, Melody Tonic, Melody Tonic, possibly was behind the gunshots put right into Corey Crichton. I know, I know. I'm, I don't understand. I don't even know if it's true. But we know Melody Tonic sitting over there with some stab wounds in the hospital. Said she got him over in jail. So the big question is, this, is, this information was brought to us by none other than Samoa Joe. He's saying that Melody went to Fatal. But they, she found out that, or I guess she thinks, that Angie Strange is having an affair with Corey Crichton, her boyfriend. And supposedly Fatal sets up the hit. Yeah, supposedly all this stuff is going down. Well, you got Fisher. Brian Fisher over in MSW. He's not buying it. I don't know if I'm buying it either. But I'll tell you one thing. I don't know what's going on, but if Melody Tonic, if she's guilty, this is Fatal guilty, the heads are going to roll. And then we got to get down to our show tonight. We've got all kinds of things going on. And you know what? Enjoy yourselves, fans. Oh, my goodness, fans. Did you just see what I just saw? Did you hear what I just heard? You didn't watch MSW last night over on the Must See Wrestling Network on YouTube. My goodness gracious, and you are unaware of the things that have went down. As you may or may not know, Corey Crichton, a contracted wrestler here in SWW, 
after one of our cards. After one of our cards a couple weeks ago, the guy, the guy got shot twice. He's fighting for his life. He's fighting for his life in the hospital. And then you get Melody Tonic recently who gets stabbed. Stabbed! While she was in jail. All of a sudden, rumors are now that she... Her and Fatal possibly set up the hit on Corey Creighton. We've got matters at hand here. We've got a steel cage match here. The winner of this match will go up against tonight. He will go up against none other than Adam Strange for the Universal title. The Universal title. The title above all titles. Royalty. And there you go, you got Samoa Joe, the guy who set things in motion, the guy who set up the drama, the guy who is the center of attention across the wrestling universe. Samoa Joe. My goodness. He's cracking heads over in WWE. He's setting up drama and must see wrestling. Now he comes here, spreading his own hate. The virus, the Samoa Joe virus. Now he gets a chance. He gets a chance at the Universal title if he can win this match. My goodness gracious. This is unbelievable. Oh my goodness, ladies and gentlemen. There's Tony Cross, but but we just got someone walked in the stu well, walked in my box here. My commentating booth. It's Angie Strange. My goodness, Angie Strange, what are you doing here? I can only assume you want to address the situation going on. Sit down, honey, tell us what's going on. I'll tell you what's going on right now. It's a lie. It's all a lie. Melody Tonic will do anything. Do anything to get her name in lights. And now look at what she's doing. She's saying I had something to do with Corey. I was I was having an affair with Corey Crichton. For heaven's sake, I have a boyfriend. I wouldn't be I wouldn't be touching Corey Crichton. I don't, I don't even like the guy. Yeah, I feel bad because he's because of the situation he's in, I hope he gets better. But I'm not having any type of affair with him. So I don't know what Melody Tonic, I don't know what Fatal, I don't know what they're trying to do. I don't know what Samoa Joe's trying to do. But it's a lie. And that's all I gotta say. Oh my goodness, fans, Angie Strange just stopped by. She just left. She said she it's a lie. She had nothing to do with uh, Corey Crichton. And it's just a big setup. So the big question is, who is it? Or is it true? Or is Angie Strange lying? Or did Corey Crichton do something else? And then Melody Tonic just pinned the blame on her. I don't know, but why goodness, we got Tony Cross, but now we got Goldberg coming out. We haven't even made it past the first matchup tonight, and there's drama all over the place. One match I can confirm tonight we have got Meacher going up against Liam Beast. That rivalry has been started, it's brewing backstage. Those guys can't even walk past each other without throwing a box or throwing a, something at it, one another, punches, everything. And they're gonna get a chance to unleash some of that frustration in the ring. Listen to the fans here in Topeka, Kansas, Channing, Goldberg, Goldberg, Goldberg. We also have Christina Vaughn 
Erie going up against Mempo tonight. Oh, there he is, ladies and gentlemen. He's the Iron Taylor. One of the toughest guys in the wrestling world today, Iron Taylor. Looking to meet up with Adam Strange in the ring tonight with the Universal title on the line. Who's it gonna be? Well, that's gonna be decided in a steel cage. My goodness gracious. There they are, ladies and gentlemen, as they lower the cage, locking these four monsters in it. And we are, this match is underway. Fans, I'm gonna step to the concession stand, I'll breathe right back. Right fans, I am back. What have we got going on? These four men are duking it out. The only way to win this matchup is to climb out of that steel cage. No pins allowed. Oh, Goldberg. Oh, my goodness. Did you see that suplex off the ropes there by Goldberg on... He's going up to the top, but Tony Cross, he's not going to let him. He's got a hold of him. Fans, if you're enjoying the action tonight, I urge you to hit that like, that thumbs up, that subscribe button, the bell for notifications. I also urge you to go over to the Must See Wrestler, Wrestling Network on YouTube, Vampiro712. Subscribe to that channel. That's our sister network. Go also go find them and us on Facebook along with Kickstart Wrestling, another one of our sister networks. All our action and storylines interconnect. Oh, by the way, you could also go check out uh, uh, Must See Wrestling Network on Twitch as well at Vampiro0712. Oh my goodness, we've got Iron Taylor looking to climb out of this steel cage. Looks like Tony Cross isn't going to let him do it. He's got a hole. Oh my goodness, pulling him right off that steel cage. Tony Cross got an opportunity, but too late. Goldberg is up. Samoa Joe is up. While the official makes sure that lock is securely on that cage. Oh, wait. What is he doing? Shut that cage, official. What are you doing? I can't believe Angie Strange showed up. Oh, my goodness. What is going on? Are these two, are they gonna let Goldberg win and go after the Universal title? What's Iron Taylor doing? He's walking back, we're doing the moonwalk. 
And it's too little too late. Oh, there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Goldberg has won the match. He will go on to face Adam Strange for the Universal title later tonight. Oh, my goodness. I don't know what Tony Cross and Iron Taylor were doing. But it almost looked like Iron Taylor basically backed off and let Goldberg win that matchup. It looks like he interrupted Tony Cross getting in Tony Cross's face. Almost purposely, if you ask me. Big question is, is Iron Taylor and Goldberg in league with one another? And can there possibly be a clash now between Tony Cross and, and uh, Iron Taylor down the road? We'll have to wait and see, fans. Oh my goodness, we've got Becky Lynch coming out to the ring tonight. Wonder what she's got to say. The man, Becky Lynch. Get down to the ring and find out. If she looks a little bit ticked off by something I don't know. We're going to pass the mic on to her. SWW fans. Yes, it's the man Becky Lynch here. And you know what? I have a problem with a certain woman in the back. Yes. You know who she is. She's the world champion. And I'm talking about none other than Chrissy Bennett. And I want her to come down here. And I want to face her right now, Chrissy Bennett. Get your last down here right now. Because it's time for me to teach you a lesson. As you know, the man is here in SW. The man came to SWW. The man didn't come to SWW to look pretty. The man came to SWW to be the world champion. And that's what I come here to do. I come here to be the champion. To be the man. Oh my goodness, fans. Becky Lynch calling out Chrissy Bennett. Saying she, the man, should be champion. I think Chrissy Bennett's going to have a few words. Oh, she looks ticked off already, fans. The world champion. Becky Lynch. So you come down here thinking you could just call me out? Like I'm supposed to just give in to you and say, you know what, you got a title shot. Well, you're wrong, Becky. No, you're going to give me a title shot, Chrissy Bennett, because I am the man, Becky Lynch. I am the one and only. The fans want me to face you. Don't you want to give the fans what they want, Bennett? Don't they deserve to have me, the greatest wrestler in the world, face the world champion? First of all, you've not proven yourself here. Um, when's the last time you fought in a match here? What, maybe a battle royal? What? You come down here thinking because you're all, you know, you're all, you're, you're big and popular in WWE that you can come here 
and just call me out? Who do you think you are, Becky? I don't have to keep telling you who I am, Chrissy Bennett. I don't have to keep standing here and explaining myself. I am the man, Becky Lynch, and I deserve a title shot, and you know it. So are you going to give it to me? Or I got to go to the man up top? You know what? I'll give you a match, Becky, but it's not going to be for a title. You proved to me tonight that you could beat me in this ring, and I'll give you a shot. I will give you a shot at the next big event here in SWW. So do you think you have what it takes to beat me without the title on the line? You know what, Chrissy? I'll beat you. I'll beat you with the title on or off the line. Just to prove to the wrestling universe that I am the man and that I deserve to have that gold around my belt. Do you understand that, Bennett? Do you get it? Fine. Then I think I can accommodate you. If you're willing to do this tonight for me and for the fans at home, I'd love to I'd love to battle you one on one. Good. Good, good, good. Then tonight, the fans here in Topeka, Kansas, live get to see me walk all over you and prove once and for all who is the man tonight because it's going to be me Becky Lynch okay we'll see we'll see we'll see what you if you got what it takes to beat the greatest female athlete in the world Becky Lynch. No, not you. Not some paper WWE champion. Oh my goodness, fans. Did you just see that? A face-off between the world champion here in SWW against the man Becky Lynch. Becky Lynch. Becky can beat... Chrissy Bennett tonight, she'll have a shot at that title in the near future. Oh, here we go, fans. We've got Meacher going up against Liam Beast. This rivalry has been growing here in Shockwave Wrestling. Liam Beast came in on the scene. Meacher has a beef with the guy. I don't know what it's all about. But hopefully they can settle things tonight. Fans, stay tuned. We have got, here in a little bit, Christine, Christina Von Erie going up against Mempo. And then, of course, we've got Chrissy Bennett taking on the man, Becky Lynch. There he is, member of the Dead Meat Club, Meacher. Oh my goodness, fans, it's Liam Beast. Made his debut recently. Coming out the face meacher as this rivalry continues to grow. I 
tell you what, right now, this guy is intimidating. The question is, is he intimidating to Meacher? Or is Meacher intimidating to him? And the bell rings in this one. Oh my goodness! Big old clothesline from the beast. Meacher don't know what hit him. The beast stomping away on Meacher. Oh my goodness! Oh Meacher, finally coming to life, stomping away on the beast. My goodness, lights out for the beast. No, he's still going at it, Meech. Meech's got him up. Oh my goodness, fans. I could feel that one all the way up here in the booth. Big uppercut. The beast coming alive again. Oh my gosh, they just hit the ref. Ref seems to be okay. Oh, no beast. Oh, the beast with the big boot. My goodness, going for the pin. One. Oh, doesn't get it. Rolling him up. He escapes easily. Meacher going back on the offensive. Now going for that. I think this is a premature. I think both these men are doing these premature pins. Oh, big old DDT. Meacher's got him up, dropping him on the rope. Oh no, fans, this could be it. He's got him up. Oh, he blocks. The beast blocks. Reverse him with a suplex. Kicking him. Stomping away at him. Now pounding away on him, just like a piece of meat that he is, a piece of dead meat. Oh, beast rolling, oh my goodness, the power, oh my goodness, slamming him to the mat. Meech, Meecher, now going on the offensive, you have got to, oh, knee to the spine. Oh my gosh, Meacher's going up to the top rope. Don't do it, Meacher. No. Oh my gosh, big elbow to the back. My goodness gracious, that felt that man must have felt that around the world. Oh my goodness gracious. Meacher and the beast going at it. Oh, dropping him on that top rope yet again. Oh, my goodness, the beast comes alive. Oh, no. Bile, or freaking slam the ground. Power bomb, sit out, power bomb, whatever you want to call it. Oh, my goodness. These two are out of control. The Beast wondering what he's got to do to stop this. 
as these two go back and forth. Oh my goodness, Liam Beast. Going for the pin. Oh no, he's not. He's not finished with them. He's not finished with them. Oh my gosh. Lights out for the Meech. This might be it for the Meech. No, he's not. Liam Beast isn't done with him. He's not done putting him through the torture. He's not done. Oh my gosh. Lights out. That's it. It's calling quits now. It looks like Liam Beast got his victory. And he gets in the Beast Beast feature. Oh my goodness. That was a heck of a match of fans. Oh my goodness, if you enjoyed that, hit that thumbs up button below, subscribe to the channel. We've got more to come. I don't know how much more I can take of this, fans. This is just a completely insane. Oh my gosh, Ray Little here just going ballistic. I can't believe the insanity of it all. Oh my goodness. You gotta give it up for both these guys. They gave it a lot in this match, but Liam Beast brought it to town. He threw everything but the kitchen sink at Meacher. There he is, fans. Liam Beast, your winner. Making a name for himself here in Shockwave Wrestling. Woo! My goodness. I'm about to lose my voice, fans. My force, I just got all deep and crazy there. I just couldn't believe it. I'm trying to calm down a little now. I'm trying to calm down. My goodness. That was completely, completely off the hook. Oh my goodness, we've got Chaz coming out to the ring. What in the world does he have to say here to the fans in Topeka, Kansas? I just got a text. I just got a, a text from some unknown number. I don't know who this is, but they're like saying... So Pika, 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 Pikachu? I'm like, what? What in the world is this about? Are they pushing that new Detective Pikachu movie? I don't know. But all I got to say is get this guy down to the ring and let's find out what he has to say. Topeka, Kansas. Yeah. Yeah. It's Chaz, I'm in the house. Leader of the Dead Meat Club. And you know what? I got a few words for you. First of all, Dead Meat Club. Yeah, we had a hiccup there. But you know what? Meacher's gonna climb back up and he's gonna get to the top. That little punk, freaking Liam Beast, he got lucky. He got lucky. But you know what? This isn't about that. This isn't about Meacher or Liam Beast. This is about a certain individual named Wolfchild. Wolfchild. You and I got a match coming up, don't we? Oh, yeah. You and I, buddy. Why don't you come on out here? Come on out here, Wolfchild. I got a few words for you. Because you know what? You know what? You and I, we've got something to settle. Something I got to get off my chest with you. Oh my goodness, fans. Wolf Child is coming out. He's coming out to face Chaz. Wolfchild, the champion, the champion of SWW, 
the world champion facing Chaz. So Chaz, what do you got to say? What do you got to say to me? Wolf Child, the SWW reigning champion, the champion over in MSW. Yeah, is that what you got to talk about? You got to talk about our match coming up, huh? Or you, you think you're going to beat me? First of all, Wolf Child, yeah, we do got a match coming up. And I come out here to tell you something. I have to tell you that I have a lot of respect for you, Wolf Child. Yes, I have a lot of respect for you. And you know what? I got to tell you something right now. You need help. What are you talking about, Chad? Okay, I, I respect. Well, I, I can appreciate that. I can appreciate the fact that you have respect for me. But what what do I need help with? What what are you what are you offering, Chaz? Are you offering emotional support? What are you offering? I'm offering the services of the Dead Meat Club to help you battle Deadline Enterprises and your ex partner Lorenzo I want to destroy those three individuals once and for all but you know what Jazz I'm not sure I want your help I'm not sure I want the help of the Dead Meat Club because lately You've not been so squeaky clean. And you know what? I have had enough knives in my back twisted. And I'm not sure I can trust you. Well, you know what, Wolf Child? If it's one thing I know, you don't turn your back on Deadline Enterprises. Especially that Malachi Abramoff. Evern, if it's to take a chance with us, you're better off with us than without us. Especially against Malachi. Well, you know what, Jazz, you know what? You may have some. And if you could be careful not to step on the wolf pack's toes, maybe, just maybe, we can talk. I'm not here to step on toes. Besides the fact that I'm going to beat you for the title, you and I, you and I can walk into that ring with our heads held high. No, we're going to give everything we got. Because that's what you do, Wolf Child. That's what I do. That's why I have the respect I do for you, because we both give it everything we got. And you know what, Chaz? It's everything I want. Because I need everything you've got. Because you know what? It's Clash of the Titans. You and me. For everything. Because you know what? Tonight I gotta prove myself here. I gotta basically earn the gold here. Oh my goodness fans, did you see that? Did we just witness the bond between two different factions? Two factions on the opposite sides of the same coin. Chaz and Wolfchild. Possibly, possibly creating a, a type of union uh, to face off against Deadline Enterprises. Oh my goodness, what is going on, ladies and gentlemen? We have got something going on backstage. What in the world is Sasha Banks doing here in SWW? 
And what is, what is this confrontation between her and Jordan Grace all about? Let's get those cameras backstage and find out what is going on. Oh my goodness, Sasha Banks is here in the SWW arena. Oh, these two have just started out fighting. Not sure who, but what in the world is Sasha Banks doing? Why is Sasha Banks beating on Jordan Grace? Jordan Grace has made a name for herself in SWW. Now Sasha Banks has come to basically start a feud with her. We have no idea why. Jordan Grace isn't going to put up with it though. Ouch! Slam her head against the ground. Someone get security back here. Sasha Banks isn't even contracted here in SWW. What, what is she doing here? Why is she picking a fight with Jordan Grace? Oh my goodness, slam her head into that locker. Oh my Goodness. Oh no, she's got a steel chair. Someone get security. Oh my goodness. She just hit her in the knee. And Jordan Grace catches her, slams her to the ground. Now slamming her head against the, the carpet. Oh, Sasha Banks turns the tables on her. I wish I knew what this was about, fans. Oh, my goodness. Oh. Oh, my goodness. Again, tossing Sasha Banks into the locker. Now punching him in the back. Oh, Hurricane Rana right in the locker room floor. What is this about? Oh, big elbow. Possibly, no, she didn't. Oh, my goodness. He's too slugging it out. Suplex. The fans here in Topeka going wild. They can't believe that Sasha Banks is facing off against none other than Jordan. Grace in the back. I don't know what's going on. This is absolutely insane. Oh, no, no, Jordan Grace, don't do it. Go on. Sit out, power bomb. Just knocked Sasha Banks right out. Someone get medical team back there. She could have killed her. Oh, my goodness. This is insane. I don't know what's going on here tonight. Oh, hell's broken loose. Oh, my. Oh my God, who is that? Who is that in the background of Mempo? What in the world is going on? Has someone lost their freaking minds? Christina Von here going against Mempo, but Mempo's got two individuals in her corner and I don't know who they are, but I'm afraid. Oh my goodness, what in the world is this about? Oh my God, I just got a text message from Premji. Oh my gosh, Premji tells me, tells, he says, welcome to the new elite force. This is, this is my team. This is the Premji's Bonds Mempo. And let's see. 
Oh my goodness, no. No, not Corey crying, he's back. And we got Melody, Melody Sonic. Oh my gosh, what is this, Sonic the Hedgehog? Well, what in the world is going on? How in the world could Premji be pulling the strings here? He's been fired. He's been fired. What do we got to do? Fire Mempo too? What in the world is going on here? This is absolutely out of control. Someone get security. This is ridiculous. Christina Von Aries putting in the middle of this. This middle of this psycho circus, whatever you want to call it. You got Mempo coming out here. How dare Mempo do this? How dare Mempo? You got freaking, you got freaking Corey Crichton fighting for his life. You got, you got, I don't even know the severity of, of uh, Melody Tonic stab wounds, but I'm sure she's in just, she's in critical condition. And then you've got Premji come, uh, from beyond, from outside, pulling strings with Mempo, bringing in these two. How sick is this? What is wrong with this world we live in? How could this possibly be happening? Look at this. Oh my goodness. What is going on here? Gory crying. Melody Sonic in the corner of Mempo. First Mempo has lost her mind. And then freaking Premji brings these two individuals out. These two kids. These two teenage kids coming out here. One posing as Corey Creighton, the other posing as Melody Tonic as they sit in the hospital in critical condition. This is ridiculous. Someone stop. Someone give me some oxygen. I'm losing my breath like 450 pounds. If I don't have a heart attack because of this, I don't know what would give you a heart attack. You gotta be insane. Someone's got to do something about this right now. This is out of control. The hardcore champion. What is she doing? This is completely ridiculous. I hope Max Cruiser is watching this. I hope he strips her of that hardcore title. This is completely ridiculous. Look at this sickness. We've got this freaking little freaking kids making fun of Corey crying or Corey Crichton calling himself Corey crying and Melody Tonic calling herself Melody Sonic. This is sick. They're like mini me's. They're like the small versions of Corey Crichton and Melody Tonic calling themselves Premji's pawns. My goodness gracious beans. I don't even know what to say. I'm in complete shock. Brian Fisher, man, he's probably looking to he's gonna walk he's probably gonna walk in here and freaking set the place on fire. He's going to bring a stick of dynamite and throw it in here and blow us all to heck, man. Finally, we get this match underway between Christina Von Erie, who's got to be put in the middle of this. Oh my goodness gracious. What is going on, fans? We have just had one after another of psychotic events happening. Oh, come on, Mempo. Nice move by Christina Von Erie as Erie goes on the offensive here. Beaten down on Mempo. Nice. Nice evasion by Eerie. Eerie throwing her outside the ring. Oh, Eerie tosses her on that ring apron, just dropping her like a sack of flour.
Oh, suplex. That outside mat is barely an inch thick, concrete underneath. Oh my goodness, Fury just going to work on Mempo right now. Mempo tossing her to the corner. Oh man, flipping her up and over. Stretching those arms. Come on, Von Erie. Break out of it. Fans, this is simply out of control. We're not even an hour into this and all hell breaks loose. Oh, big huge uppercut. Here he throwing it out of her way. Oh, backbreaker. Nice move by Christina Von Erie. Looking to get a win over Mempo tonight. The hardcore champion. Possibly setting up her own shot at that title. Oh, nice. Nice escape by Yuri. Oh, my God. Goodness gracious, nearly decapitating Mempo. Going for the pin. One, two, Mempo kicks out. Fans here in Topeka, Kansas, they can't even stay in their seats. They know the severity of what's going down. They know how, what they know what Mempo and Premji's trying to do. Oh my goodness, fans, there you go. That's a smack in the face of Premji, if you ask me. Erie gets the win, puts Mempo in her place. Obviously, Premji just trying to make a statement. Those two didn't even try helping Mempo out. They stood in that corner just like two lost puppies. I'm sure paid off. Paid some good money by Premji to basically make fun. Make fun of uh, poor uh, Corey Crichton fighting for his freaking life. A melody tonic. God help her in the hospital with stab wounds. What kind of sick world we live in. What is what has gone on in Mempo's head? How in the world is she under such control by Premji? And there's a very happy individual, Christina Von Erie. I can almost guarantee there's a shot at that hardcore title in her future. What is going on in the back? You have got to be kidding me. The Masked Man strikes again. Going up against MS Born, the leader. The leader, I tell you, of Tonic's Titans. Yep. There he is. This is absolutely out of control. The masked man strikes again.
these two go on ballistic. This is insanity, as the masked man goes up against MS Bourne. The masked man escaping. Oh, now throwing him into the office. Oh, come on, what in the world? She's not even supposed to be here, Stephanie McMahon. Now hitting him with the steel chain. Oh, ah! Gonna break his leg clean off. What in the world? right now. Fans, I will be right back. I gotta step out for one moment. Look at this garbage. The masked man lays, lays uh, MS Born out a bloody mess. My goodness gracious. MS Born with the hit t shirts. The new, that AEW SWW sucks t shirts. We got them in the back. My goodness. Go buy one. They're the hot seller. Cody and the Young Bucks, they think it's the greatest thing since sliced bread. They love it. They simply love it. Oh, look, we got Brian Azrael coming out to the ring. Wonder what this guy's got to say to the fans here in Topeka, Kansas.
Topeka, Kansas. I am Brian Azriel, and I have come here to dominate the world of professional wrestling. And there is a certain individual who stands in my way. Oh yeah, you know who that is. His name... His name is Jay White. He beats me. He beats me. Just barely. And you know what? I must face him again. The darkness calls out to me. Face Jay White. Devastate him. Prove to the world that you can bring him down. Jay White, you are nothing. Oh my gosh, fans. Brian Azrael calling out Jay White, wanting a rematch, a rematch for that title. The SWW Hardcore title, there he is right now, the champion coming out to the ring. The face, Brian Azrael, one on one. Brian Azrael, we settled this already. I beat you. I am the hardcore champion. You come out here running your mouth like you're some sort of dark soul looking for the light. Well, I got news for you, buddy. I have no problem taking you on again. All right, well, there it is then, Jay White. You and me. Tonight, we will bring down the house here in Topeka, Kansas. We will bring the fury, the hardcore fury. The depths of hell will rise up and bond with our very souls, and we will unleash it in this ring. I don't know if I'd take it that far, you know what? I'll tell you this right now. I know for a fact that we'll both walk into this ring and give everything we got. Everything that digs down deep inside us. We'll bring heart to this matchup. And that's why, Brian, that's why I'm going to do this tonight. Jay White, you, me, the ring and nothing but blood and chaos. For tonight, I step on you one, two, three, and prove to the world what I am. And what are you, Brian? So far, you've been nothing but a loser. But I still have a lot of respect for what you can do. The problem is, you don't go the extra mile you need to. You need to give it everything. Not 99%. Not 99.5%. You gotta bring it all. You gotta bring 100% if you're gonna have a chance to beat me. You know what, Jay White? The dark path has led me back here. And you know what? Tonight, I've got it all. I've got everything buried inside, and I plan to unleash it all. 100% of it. So, Jay White, be prepared. Oh, I'm prepared, Brian. I'm prepared to bring it. I'm prepared to take it. I'm prepared to unleash it 
I am prepared to defend the hardcore title against one of the best monsters here in SWW. This is what I live for, sir. You. Me. Oh yeah, Jay White. I feel the energy surging down deep in you. You are prepared to meet me in the fiery depths of Hades itself, brought to rest on this ring, in this arena, two titans facing off. They will clash tonight, gladiators, dark, one dark gladiator, one white gladiator. And we will end it with the true champion of this story, Jay White, the true champion. Oh my goodness, fans. We could be in for one of the most spectacular matches you've ever seen. Jay White defending his hardcore title against none other than Brian Azrael yet again for a rematch of all rematches. My goodness gracious fans. All right, this is the end of part one of, of a two-parter here for SWW Thursday Showdown. Check out part two for some incredible championship matches yet to come and drama for sure. See you on the other side.